Hey, what's going on guys? Ethan Ader here with Horizon Hobby. But hey, it's always nice to have some of these smaller micro helicopters, smaller planes, just to be messing around in their backyard if they feel the bug to get a quick flight in. That's what's nice about the MCPX BL2. The great thing about the BL2 is its wide flight envelope. You got three different modes. You got the stability mode with the safe Z mode. So that essentially is stability mode with better pitch management. It basically gives expo in the pitch, makes it feel a little bit softer, not as harsh. It also has stability mode, which essentially takes that expo away, gives you more direct feel on the pitch, but you still have that auto leveling feature. And then you have agility mode, which is essentially 3D mode. You know, you can go upside down, do all kinds of crazy tricks. And with the BL2, we're super happy to present to you this series, which is essentially just gonna be learning how to fly a helicopter. Um, we're gonna basically be covering everything from orientation you know, step one, all the way to, you know, advanced 3D maneuvers, and it can all be done on this little helicopter. Um, with me, I got the NX-6, which is the new next generation of Spectrum transmitters. Super nice, super quick. It's really easy to set up. Throttle's high. Let me change to the BL2. Simple as that. And hey, let's get flying. So if you're new to helicopters, one of the basic things is taking off and landing on an even surface. Just because if you take off in grass, anything like that with these smaller helicopters, they're really prone to tip over, possibly catching the grass. It's just good to find an even surface to take off from. So in this first video we're gonna be giving you, we're just gonna be covering the basic orientations, maybe a little bit of forward flight, just practicing on hovering and keeping the helicopter where you want it before we get into any other maneuvers. So yeah, let's get started. So we're first gonna be taking off in the safe Z mode, which basically gives us that soft feel on the pitch. I'll demonstrate that whenever I'm flying. So yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, the tail is towards me. That's the orientation that we wanna be starting off with. That's the one that I mostly recommend. So as you can see, if I bump the pitch, it's gonna be a little bit less sensitive. Uh, especially on lowering it, it doesn't wanna drop out of the sky, which is nice. It almost, it makes it feel more floaty. So bumping into this stability mode, as you can see, the pitch is a lot more responsive, but I still have, you know, the self-leveling feature so I can bring it back, let off the stick, and it's gonna center itself, which is, that's always nice for a beginner, for sure. So as you can see, it's gonna level, you know, don't have to worry about flipping over or anything like that. So first I'm gonna be starting off tail in, still in stability mode, should point that out. At once we get comfortable hovering in one spot like so, now it is a little bit windy and it is a smaller helicopter so it might be bumped around a little bit, but you wanna practice being able to keep it in one spot and also possibly you know going forward a little bit, being able to stop it where you want it, keep it in one spot. Essentially it's gonna be really boring at first, but trust me, it's gonna be really good in the long run to know these orientations. So once you're comfortable with the tail end, go ahead and apply rudder, whichever way. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky because essentially, you know, right is going away from you, left is going towards you, you know, forward is left, backwards is right. Still in stability mode, just to practice in case anything gets a little bit tricky. It's, it's good to just not flip over, especially, you know, if you're a beginner, just learning, so yeah. Same thing with this, just get comfortable with this orientation. Um, try to keep it in one place if you can. You know, maybe practice, you know, going forward a little bit, stopping, being able to keep it in one spot without, you know, without going all over the place. I'm gonna bring it back towards us a little bit. And then next would be, you know, going another fourth of the way around. And now this is where it also gets a little bit tricky because the nose is towards us. So with this orientation, pretty much everything is backwards. So, you know, right is left, left is right, back is forward, and then forward is towards us. So yeah, essentially everything's reversed except for your pitch. And like so, you still wanna practice keeping it in one spot. Don't wanna drift off too much if possible. Like I said, it is a little bit windy, so that's why the helicopter looks a little, uh, a little uh, cockeyed. So yeah, just practicing, you know, boring orientations, but definitely good in the long run. 
And next, we'll start over here. As you can see, if, if you look at my stick, it's definitely, it's moving around a lot just to keep it in one spot. That's one of the hardest parts about hovering. And honestly, one of the hardest maneuvers is keeping the helicopter exactly where you want it. It gets easier as you get a bigger helicopter just because it's floaty. Um, yeah, it, it gets a lot easier once you get a bigger helicopter. Essentially just because it's a lot bigger, it's a lot more responsive, easier to see, but the intimidation factor is still there. But the intimidation factor is still there. So it's good to practice with these smaller ones. As you can see, we're back to tail, tail towards us. So yeah, next we're just gonna try, just go ahead and land it. Like so. That's essentially it. So once you're comfortable with those orientations and stability mode, let's kick things up a notch. Let's put it in agility mode. So now this mode is going to essentially take away from the self-leveling. So you're not gonna have any self-leveling uh, it's going to be purely whatever whatever position you put it in, it's going to stay in that orientation. So as you can see, I got the head speed pretty high. You can actually dial that down if you want to. So if I go right, it's going to stay right until I actually correct it, as you can see. So I'm going to bring it back here. And this is where it's going to be a little bit more tricky because once you start practicing your orientations with this, you know, whenever you start moving it, it's going to be a little bit it's gonna be a little bit harder to handle just because, like I said, the stability's not there. Sorry for my radio. The stability's not gonna be there. It, you're gonna to have to find that sweet spot to keep it in one spot. And essentially, if you do find that sweet spot, you can almost let your hand off the stick and it's pretty much gonna be there. Obviously, you're gonna to have to do some correcting. You're always gonna be correcting on the stick, that's for sure. Like I said, you can practice your orientation sideways, nose, for, nose towards you. But yeah, basically once you're comfortable with those, you can start getting into some forward flight. But like I said, orientation is pretty much the number one key to flying helicopters. Just being able to stop where you want, whatever orientation you're in, you know, just whatever you always want to be comfortable, essentially, with the helicopter, what orientation it's in. You never want to get to a point where it's like, okay, I don't know what orientation I'm in. I don't like the feeling. You always want to be comfortable, you know, always able to save it. I'm gonna go ahead and land it. It also gets a little bit more tricky whenever you're in agility mode, just because, like I said, it wants to get all over the place. But you can find that sweet spot eventually, place it on the ground. Hit throttle cut, and you're pretty much good to go. So if you are a beginner and you've tried these orientations before, you can definitely tell that it's not the easiest thing in the world, but with enough practice, you'll definitely get the hang of it. It took me a while too. It's definitely something different for sure. Now, what's great about the BL2 is it's very forgiving, you know, very small, very light, not gonna break parts easily. It's very, very forgiving, that's for sure. Now, if you're already a 3D pilot, stay tuned because we'll be doing a lot more tricks and maneuvers with this helicopter in the next few videos. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys in the next one.